living in New York now. You know, I like it in that city. I like New York. New York's probably one of the only cities in the world you can pick up a newspaper and read about real criminals. You know, <laughs> I know a lot of people don't live in New York. They think they have criminals in their town, but you really don't. You know, there's not a criminal in the world with the dedication and creativity of a New York criminal. <laughs> New York criminals are very dedicated. You know, it was a guy running around hitting people in the head with a hammer about three months ago. They actually get bored with old crime and make up new crime. I don't even know how he thought of that. He was just been sitting around the big crime convention just brainstorming one weekend. He's a bunch of other criminals looking for new things to do. What you gonna do, Louis? Rob somebody? No, I think I'm hit somebody in the head with a hammer. That's what I'm doing. I'm sick of robbing people. I figure I put a dent in their head. That's crime enough. It's a true story. He didn't kill nobody, you know. He would just sneak up on people, pow, hit them and just run. It was so new that people on the news didn't know what to say about this guy. You know, when they reported it on the news, they said, well, this, you know, we can't wait till we find the guy so we can put him on trial. He's hitting people on the head with a hammer. <laughs> and I'm thinking, a trial? And what is his defense going to sound like? Well, Your Honor, she did have a nail sticking out of her temple. <laughs> I feel that my client did what any hammer-toting citizen would have done at the time. I didn't know her intentions with that nail. He had to act and act quickly. <laughs> and he can't get a fair trial. You're supposed to be tried by a jury of your peers. Where are you going to find 12 people who have hit somebody in the head with a hammer? Before? <laughs> and if you do find them, do you want them all sitting that close together in the courtroom? Like that? I say spread them out. They're dangerous people. Yeah. Somebody yells, motion to strike. They're popping each other in the head with a hammer. The judge got his gavel. He's hitting people. Order! Order in the court. Bailiff, get my big gavel down here right now. <laughs> Gotta keep some order. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> but that's your right in America. See, we have rights like that, you know. You have the right to a trial. Some rights we don't even use, like the citizen's arrest. That's your right as a citizen. You can arrest people. When am I supposed to exercise that right? I guess they just give it to me in case I get particularly fed up with some criminal. I can just walk up on the guy. Okay, drop the gun. I can't take it no more. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Well, who are you? Don't worry about who I am. I live here. Get in the car. Citizens arrest. You probably get a citizen's butt kicking. That's probably what happened to you. <laughs> you know, because he's a citizen too. He has rights. He has the right to punch you in your face. <laughs> and how come every time somebody gets put on death row in this country, they find Jesus? Have you noticed that? <laughs> they interview a death row inmate. That's the first thing he says. Well, you know, I'm a new man now. I found Jesus. You should let me go. I just want the interviewer to go, yeah, when did you find Jesus? Oh, I found him right after the authorities found me, tell you the truth. I wasn't looking for him, but you know, they put me in the squad car and he was sitting right there. I had to tell the guy, that's not Jesus, that's Jesus, your Spanish cellmate. That's who that is. <laughs> We've never arrested Jesus. I get religious all of a sudden. That's Luke, John, and Matthew, but Jesus, he's not here. We don't see him. We didn't pick him up. <laughs> and I have nothing against being religious. You know, my dad's very religious. My father's a preacher, as a matter of fact. My dad's one of these guys that's so religious, I can't even talk to him anymore without him changing the subject and making it a biblical discussion. Like, you know, I'll start out talking about sports. You know, I'm like, Michael Jordan, sure is a good basketball player, huh, Dad? My father's like, yeah, he's pretty good. Well, if he's a sinner, he's going to hell, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you think he can jump high now? Wait till that hell fire hits his butt. You'll see how high he can jump high. <laughs> 